So I wanted to create this video to really emphasize this one point that does come up quite often. Uh, and it has to do with what puts you into ketosis. Some people think that it's taking more fat. They think, oh my gosh, I'm not in ketosis. Do I need to consume more fat? No, you don't. To get into ketosis, you need to lower your carbohydrates. This is the key right here. Lower your carbohydrates. Why? Because that affects insulin. When you eat carbs, you turn on more insulin and that blocks ketosis. When you turn it off and you lower your carbs, lower amounts of insulin, you go into ketosis. Ketosis is all about lowering your carbohydrates. And to get yourself into ketosis, it's not about consuming more protein. It's not a high protein diet. Uh, it's a moderate amount of protein. You don't want to go lean though. You don't want to do lean proteins. Why? Because the leaner the protein, especially whey protein, which actually has like hardly no fat at all, you're going to spike insulin more. So you have carbohydrates that trigger insulin, but lean protein will also trigger insulin. So on the insulin scale, the very, very top, and the insulin scale has to do with non-carbohydrate foods that trigger insulin. You have the glycemic index, which is how a carbohydrate influences blood sugars, and then you have the insulin index, which are the non-carbohydrate influences of insulin. And the leaner the protein, the more low-fat protein, the higher the insulin spike. And when we talk about fat, fat really has a almost neutral effect on insulin. Now, the fact that you're consuming fat and it has some calories can raise insulin a little bit, but it has the least effect over insulin. And not to overemphasize this point enough, to get into ketosis, you just need to keep your insulin low by keeping your carbs low and not do lean protein. You want to make sure you consume the protein with with the fat that it normally comes with. Why do we need dietary fat when you're in ketosis? A couple reasons. Number one, you're gonna be able to fast longer, especially in the beginning when you get into ketosis and you're trying to do intermittent fasting. It's very, very important to go longer and longer and longer. If you're doing a lower amount of fat, you're gonna be hungry, you're not gonna be satisfied, and it's gonna be very difficult to go longer periods of time. So a real key thing is just to beef up your fat at the meal to go to fast longer. And the longer you fast, the more you get into ketosis, the easier it's going to be. Also, there's a lot of nutrients in fat. You have omega-3 fatty acids. You have all the fat-soluble vitamins. You have other essential fats that your body needs. Also, fat is necessary to stimulate bile production. The cholesterol and fat that you eat are necessary to also build all your cell membranes your brain tissue, your nerve tissue, a lot of your body uh, is made out of fat. So you need fat. A good amount of your hormones are actually made out of fat, especially the sex hormones. Also, fat helps to slow the absorption of the protein you eat. There's a lot of people that do keto and intermittent fasting that don't need to lose weight, like myself. And by consuming more fat, it's a way to maintain your weight because if you start doing low carb, moderate protein, and low fat, you're going to lose more weight. So it's a good way to maintain your weight because your body's going to use the dietary fat calories for ketones and not your own fat to convert into ketones. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back with another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.